Caitlin Little is playing a much happier tune these days. She isn't healed, but her most recent treatment regimen is, for the first time in more than two years, providing some hope. What's changed is she actually has her personality back. I love growing beans. Beans are my heart. Like before, she would just stare off into space or something and wouldn't really understand anything. And now she's more happy, joking around. They can actually go and play with us. All of that for nothing. It's not just that her personality is coming back. She's put on weight too, nearly 20 pounds. We are seeing changes. They're very small. You have to be very observant, but she has enough brain power, enough comfort to see her laughing, joking, cutting up. She's all, yeah, cucumbers doing, which... That's Chris. Chris. This is Bob. Hi, Bob. They credit her improvement to something of an all-in treatment for her Lyme disease and the brain injury she suffered. When you look at the research Enjoy literature, it says that combining the traditional Chinese medicine and nutrition with the proper antibiotics and medications, you have a much greater chance of success. The nutrition is largely herbal from a doctor in Raleigh who cured his own Lyme disease. I know what you're going through. I've been there. Dr. Bill Rawls wrote a book about it and developed a line of supplements that the little say are helping Caitlin significantly, especially since her body is still not able to digest much normal food. Now the medicinal herbs are the things that we have been as humans selecting out over thousands and thousands of years. So they're inherently safe. It's almost like our body recognizes these things. It's led not just to the weight gain and overall health Caitlin seems to have. So you have what, zucchini over here? I do have zucchini over here. But okay. some improvements in her brain and memory too. She'll go in the garden, she'll come back inside and normally she can't tell us where she's been. She'll look at her hands and go, I'm dirty, I must have been in the garden. Now she can tell us, I was in the garden and I just saw a black cat. Oh, kitty, kitty. That's two thoughts and we've not seen that before. You're scaring the kitty that's up there. But still, there are serious lingering issues. Do you know you did every bit of this? Oh. You did it. This is your space. Oh, okay. In general, Caitlin's memory beyond a few minutes is still non-existent. We saw that when she discovered this chair. We've never had a rocking chair before. A chair that had been there. Oh, and it's my size too. For more than a year. Would well, you look at that? One of my feet can actually touch the ground. And those things she does remember. But what do you notice about your memory? My memory is sort of non-existent. She can't place in time. She never asks. She doesn't she ask. She has no sense of time. None. The year is guess. 2020. What? Yeah, it's 2020 now. You have a brain injury and you've lost your memory. Oh. Can you feel that now when I say that? Yeah. Amid the beauty and life she creates in her garden, the marigolds have a very strong smell. Caitlin can sense the disease that continues to attack her. But the fever's from about right here up. It's all in the brain. So if I touch my head, my head's burning up. And her parents worry that the greatest threat may not be the disease, but simply time. We're coming up on three years now, which is a long time after a head injury. And although the tune she plays is now more hopeful, until we have our miracle, there will always be the moment of, did we wait too long? Were we too late?